Good day! Today we're going to learn about event handling using Java event classes and event listener interface. In this video, we're going to build application that uses event classes, action event, mouse event, key event, and window event. For event listener interface, we're going to use action listener, mouse listener, key listener, and window listener. Let's begin with event. Event is the alteration for changing the object state. Event can be created through user interaction, graphical user interface components, or system generated events. Example of event would be clicking a button, moving a mouse, entering a character through keyboard, selecting item from list, etc. Now let's determine what is event handling. Event handling is a mechanism that controls the event and decide what should happen if an event occurs. In event handling, code which is known as event handler is executed when an event occurs. There are Java packages that provide numerous interfaces and classes which deals with different types of events. One of these is the Abstract Window Toolkit Event Package. The Java Abstract Window Toolkit Package so this package provides several event and listener interface classes that can be used for event handling. The following are examples of Java Abstract Window Toolkit event classes and its corresponding event listener interface. For action event, we have action listener. For mouse event, we have mouse listener and mouse motion listener. For mouse wheel event, we have mouse wheel listener. For key event, we have key listener. For item event, we have item listener. For text event, we have text listener. For adjustment event, we have adjustment listener. For window event, we have window listener. For component event, we have component listener. For container event, we have container listener. And for focus event, we have focus listener. These examples are useful for handling events and for creating event-driven programs. In this video, we're going to use the following event classes and event listener interface. The action event and the action listener. The window event and the window listener. The key event and the key listener. The mouse event and the mouse listener. Let's describe the event classes. Let's start with action event. Action event is generated when a button is clicked or the item list is double clicked. While the mouse event is an event that indicates a mouse action is occurred within a component. It can be a mouse click, mouse press, etc. The key event. The key event is generated in entering the character. The example would be an action such as typing a key, pressing a key, and releasing a key. Window event. The object of this class represents the change in state of the window. So the window event state can be activated, closed, closing, etc. Abstract Window Toolkit Event Listener Interface The Action Listener This interface is used for receiving the action events. The Action Listener is responsible for handling action events such as when the user clicks on a component like buttons, menus, and other similar components. Mouse Listener So this interface is used for receiving the mouse events. So this listener interface is used when the user uses mouse or similar devices to interact with the component. Key listener. This interface is used for receiving the key events. This listener interface gets notified when there is a change in key state. The states include type, release, and press. This listener is very useful when monitoring keyboard activities. Window listener. This interface is used for receiving the window events. So this interface defines method that handles window events that includes the events for opening and closing the window, activation and deactivation of window, the iconification and the iconification of the window. How to implement event handling in your program? We can implement and handle events by implementing listener in the class, by creating private listener in the class, by applying nameless class listeners, by creating outer class listeners, this event handling approach will be shown and illustrated in the succeeding section. Implementing listener in the class. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. The first two statements are the import statement. So we import the java.out 
and Java that out that event to access all the classes that belongs to this package. Then we create a class. The name is event A. We extend it to frame and implements the action listener. Then we have the declaration of private objects. We have text field and button. The constructor contains the following code. We create two component objects, text field and button. We set the frames properties. We set size, set layout, we set visible, and set location relative to null. Since we don't use any layout manager, we use the set bounds method to set the position and the size of our object. We register button to have action listener. If the button is clicked, the code under action performed will be executed. Then we add components inside our frame. We add button and text field. Since we're using action listener, the signature method action perform should be included in our code. So this method contains actions that will be executed whenever the registered component is triggered by the user. The main method is the entry point of this program. This contains the creation of the frame. After completing the code, we're going to save it on our computer. We're going to save it on our folder, Lesson 5. The file name would be event a.java. Then we open our command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our Java program. The output is a frame that consists of buttons and text field. When you click the button, click this, Welcome to my program will be set on the text field. Creating a private listener class. We open our text editor window and we type the following code. This program is similar to our previous application, except that the class name of this application is event C. And it does not implement action listener and extends to frame. In this class, we instantiate three private objects, text field, button, and frame. We also set the container's properties. Instead of using the keyword this, we create a new private listener. The name of the listener is listener1. Inside our class, we create a private class listener. The name is listener1. We implement the action listener. And inside this code, we have action perform that contains action to be performed whenever the button is clicked. Then we save our file. The file name would be event C. We're going to save it on our folder lesson 5. We open the command window to locate, compile, and run our Java program. The output is a frame with a text field and a button. When the user click, the button click this, hider will be displayed on the text field. Applying nameless class listener. On the text editor window, we type the following code. This program is similar to our previous application, except that the class name of this application is event B. And instead of using private listener, we directly create nameless or anonymous action listener on the component object to register event. Once the code is completed, we're going to save our file on our computer with the file name event B. Our file should be saved on the folder lesson 5. Then we open the command window to locate, compile, and run our Java program. We're going to have same output except that when you click the button, click this, welcome to my program will be displayed on the text field and changing the background of the text field to color blue. Creating outer class listener. On the text editor window, we type the following code. Our class name is event D. This class is similar to our previous example, except that in this example, we're going to create outer listener class. In this class, we create three public objects, text field, button, and frame. We set the object properties. We set the object's bounds, the location, and the size. We also register button as our listener, and we use my listener to create new listener instance. Then we add components to the frame. Then we have the main method. Inside the main method, we create a new instance of event D. After completing the code, we're going to save this file as event D.java to our lesson 5 folder. We open another blank text editor window 
and we type the following code. The class name of this interface is my listener. We save this outer class listener to our folder lesson 5 with the file name mylistener.java. After we save these two class, then we're going to open the command prompt window to locate, compile, and run the Java application. In previous illustration, we use action listener class for event. We use the method add action listener to register our component. The action perform is a signature method of this interface. This method is invoked when the register component was triggered by the user. Mouse listener class. The registration method for the component object is the add mouse listener. While the mouse click, mouse entered, mouse exited, Mouse pressed and mouse released are the mouse listener signature methods. These abstract methods are required whenever you use mouse listener interface. The following will be the sample application using the event class mouse event and event listener interface mouse listener. On the text editor window, we type the following code. In this class, the class name would be mouse listener one It extends to frame and implements mouse listener. Inside our constructor, we add mouse listener to the object button. Since we are using mouse listener interface, the five abstract methods should be included in our code. These are mouse click, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse press, and mouse released. Then the main method containing the, the creation of new frame using the mouse listener one class. Upon completing this code, we're going to save our file on lesson 5 folder. We're going to save this as mouse listener onejava Then we open our command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our Java application. Key listener class. The registration method for component object is the add key listener method. Key press, key release, key type are the key listener signature methods. These three abstract methods are required whenever you use key listener interface. The following will be the sample application using key event and key listeners. On the text editor window, we type the following code. The class name is KeyListener1. It extends to frame and implements KeyListener. In this class, we create two private objects, label and text area. We set the KeyListener properties, set title, set size, set location, relative to, set layout, and set visible. We set the object size and location. And we add them on key listener one. We add key listener to text area area. The three abstract methods of key listener should be included in our code. These abstract methods are key press, key type, and key release. The main method should also be included because the main method is the entry point of every Java application. Once the code is completed, we are going to save our file to our computer. The file name would be listener onejava We're going to save it on our lesson 5 folder. Then we're going to open a command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our Java application. Window listener class. The registration method for the component object would be the add window listener. Window activated, window closed, window closing, window deactivated, window deiconified, window iconified, window open are window listener signature methods. These abstract methods are required whenever we use window listener interface. The following will be the sample application using window event and window listener. On the text editor window, we type the following code. The class name is window event one It extends to frame and implements window listener. Inside the constructor, we add window listener and we use the reference this. This code registers the window listener for window event one 
We also set the window event one size, layout, visibility, and location relative to, and then the title. We also created the main method as the entry point for our program. And inside this main method, we created a new instance of window event one. Since we implement window listener, the seven abstract method of window listener should be included in our code. These abstract methods are window activated, window closed, window closing, window deactivated, window deiconified, window iconified, window open. We place print statement to determine whether the following events are invoked. After completing the code, we're going to save our file on our computer. We save this as window event onejava on lesson 5. We open our command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our application. Thank you!